Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you all? I think you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIVS Home School. I am Muhammad Ali Amin Opu, an assistant teacher of mathematics, national ideal in Universal School morning shift. Dear students, I am going to take a math class today for the student of class 2. So let's start our class, okay? Our today's topic is division part 1. That means this is the first class on the topic of division. It's a lecture number is 13 for the annual term examination and you have a homework. Your homework number is 10. Okay. So look at the board. It's division. Your CW class is division. Okay. Your topic is division. We have write down already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 questions are there. That means there are 6 division. We will solve all the 6. Okay. Number 1 is 5 divide 3 35 that means 35 need to divide by 5 here is 35 is known as dividend this 5 is known as divisor that means which number need to be divided that number is called dividend you know that already and by which number division is done that number is called the divisor okay we will always count the times table of the divisor to divide anything that means we need to count the times table of 5 for this division okay and we need to find out 35 okay my dear students the rules of the division is what the rules of division is we can take only one digit from the dividend we can take only one digit from the dividend this is 35 but we can take only three but look this three is less than this five this three is less than this five and that's why we need to take another digit if one digit on the second digit is greater than this divisor then we can divide okay directly so this three can't be divided that's why we need to take this both of these two okay both of these two number then we can count the times table of five we need to get 35 so count the times table of five is five zero 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 five ones are five five twos are ten five threes are fifteen five fours are twenty 5 5 is 25, 5 6 is 30, and 5 7 is 35. My dear students, 5 7 is 5 7 is 35. So, like this multiplication need to be write down here. And 5 7 is 35. We will write down 5 7 is 35. That means this number need to be write down under 35. Okay. Now, it is a subtraction need to be done here. A subtraction need to be done here. Now, if we subtract 5 from 5, we will get 0. If we subtract 3 from 3, we will get 0. So, the subtraction will be 0. Dear students, this is our division is done. Now, this 7 is called our quotient and this 0 is called our remainder. I repeat, my dear students, when some number need to be divided, that number is called dividend. That means, this here, 35 is our dividend. Which number? By which number division is done, that number is called divisor. So, 5 is our divisor. If we divide something and we get the result, the result is called quotient. 7 is our quotient here. And if we find out something remain here, that number is called remainder. Here, 0 is our remainder. Now, after that, you must write down the answer also. Answer, answer is quotient 7. I am writing Q equal to 7. Q means quotient. Okay, quotient 7 and remainder R, R equal to 0. R means remainder. Quotient 7 and remainder is 0 ok like this way we will solve all the problems now look at question number 2 question number 2 is we need to divide 63 by 3 ok if we divide 63 by 3 what is the rules the rules is we need to take only one digit that means we can take only this 6 ok now is this 6 greater than 3 Yes, this 6 is greater than 3, so we can divide. Now, count the times table of 3 and we need to get 6, okay? So, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, 3, 3, 2, 0, 6. The students, 3, 2, 0, 6. We got the 6. That's why I can write down 3, 2, 0, 6, okay? Now, we need to subtract this 6 from that 6. If we subtract this 6 from that 6, we will get 0, okay? And after that, only one digit can be taken after the 6. That means this 3 can be taken here, okay? Now, 
we need to count the count the total three and we need to get the three. So three zeros are zero, three ones are three. We know three ones are three. So you should write down here three ones are three. And if we subtract three from three, we will get zero. This means that our quotient is twenty one, our remainder again zero. So write down the answer. Answer will be Q means quotient, quotient is twenty one and R means remainder, remainder is zero. Okay, now we'll solve question number three. Okay, question number three is what? We need to divide 85 by four. So first of all, we need to take only one digit. Okay, that means this eight can be taken. Now look at this eight. This eight is greater than four. That's why we can divide, we can divide. So count the times table of four. It's four zeros are zero. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. We get eight. Four twos are eight. That means we can write down four twos are eight. Now we can subtract. If we subtract eight from eight, we'll get zero. Okay. Now we can take only one digit. Only one digit here is remaining. Now five will be here. Okay. Now my dear students, we need to get five. By the counter times table of four. So counter times table of four. Four zeros are zero. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. My dear students, four twos are eight. Look, it's four ones are four, and four twos are eight. Eight is greater than five, so we can't take this two. That means we can take only this one. Okay. So we need to take one times of four. If we take 1 times of 4, we will get 4. So 4, 1's are 4. Now, we need to subtract 4 from 5. If we subtract 4 from 5, we will get 1. This means that our remainder is 1 for this division. Okay, and question is 21. Now, write down the answer. The answer is question is equal to 21. And remainder, our means remainder is 1 here. I hope you have understood. Like this way, we'll solve all the divisions. Okay. Now, look at question number four. Question number four is, we need to divide 42 by 8. Okay. First of all, we can take only one digit. The students, if we take only one digit, that means this four. Now, is this four greater than eight? No, this four is not greater than eight. This four is less than eight. That's why we need to take another digit with this digit. We need to take 42 together. Now this 42 is greater than 8. So now we can count the times table of 8. It's 8 zeros are 0, 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, 8 threes are 24, 8 fours are 32, 8 fives are 40. My dear students, it's 8 fives are 40 and 8 six are 48. We know the times table, we must memorize the times table to do any multiplication or division. 8, 6 are 48, but it's not 48. This number 42 is less than 48, so we can't take this 6. We can't take this 6. Okay, this 6 can't be taken. That's why we can take only this 5 times of 8. So we can write down 5, 8 are 40, okay? 8, 5 are 8, 5 are 40. Now subtract 40 from 42. If we subtract 0 from 2, we will get 2. If we subtract 4 from 4, it will be 0. In the left side, 0, no need to be write down. Okay. If you write down, then it will also be correct. Now, answer is what? Answer for this question is, answer is quotient equal to 5. And remainder, R is equal to 2. I hope you have understood. Now, the last two questions. That means question number 5 and question number 6. These two questions is horizontally. Okay. All the um, questions were, were vertically, but this is horizontally. Now, this is what, look at the question. It's 63 need to divide by 7. Here, 63, the first uh, number is called dividend. And the last number, that means the second number, 7 is called the divisor. That means 63 need to divide by this 7. Okay. So, we need to count uh, the times table of the divisor, 7. 7 is our divisor here. So, we need to count the times table 7 and need to find the number 63 or less than 63. So, count the times table 7 is 7. 1s are 7. 7 twos are 14. 7 threes are 21. 7 fours are 24. 7 fives are 35. 7 
and seven nines are sixty three. My students seven nines are sixty three. That means here will be nine directly. Okay, seven nines are sixty three, and our answer is answer is you can write down question equal to nine. And now the last one, it's forty two. Sorry, it's forty five. Forty five needs to divide by nine. That means this is our dividend, and our divisor is nine. This means that we need to count the times table of 9 to do this division. So 9 1s are 9, 9 2s are 18, 9 3s are 27, 9 4s are 36, and 9 5s are 45. My question 9 5s are 45. So 9 5s are 45. Answer will be? Answer will be question equal to 5. I hope my dear students, you have understood how to divide. Now you have the homework. And what is your homework? Look at the board. All the six question is not your homework, okay? Only four question. That means question number one, two, three, four. Question number one, question number two, question number three, and question number four. These four questions is your homework number ten. Is there number ten? Is this four questions? Question number one, two, three, four. Question number one, two, three, and four. This four is your homework. Please. Do your homework in your assigned SW copy and you can submit all the homework in every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So you can inshallah in the next class. Till then, Allah Hafiz.